Okay, this one then is called an error of reversal. So this is, the name gives it away really, it's reversed because it's the correct account but you've put things on the wrong side. So where it should have been debited, it's been credited and where it should have been credited, it's been debited. Um, so here we need to obviously sort this error out. So we've got here the entries to record a sale on credit of £160 are included on the wrong side of the retrospective accounts. So they have debited the sales account and credited sales logic and trouble. Well, we know it should have been the other way round. So I'm going to do the same as before. So they have currently debited sales. I'll put that into both of my accounts and credited the sales ledger control account okay whereas it should have been debit sales ledger control account credit sales okay so we're going to do the same thing we can either remove the posting that's been put in originally and then put in the correct one so to remove it we would credit sales debit sales ledger control account Okay, and then to put in the correct one, we would debit sales ledger control account, credit sales, um, credit sales, debit sales ledger control account. Okay, all with £860. If you were to look at these accounts now, are you happy that one and that one cancel each other out? So it would end up as £160 on the credit side. And if you look at this one, that one and that one would cancel each other out. So you would end up with £160 on the debit side, which is what we wanted. So if you look here, can you see to correct an error of reversal, you have essentially posted the correct um, double entry twice. Once to remove the incorrect and once to put the correct in. Because if you look here at our double entry, debit sales, ledger control, debit sales, ledger control, credit sales, credit sales. So you've essentially done this the correct double entry twice. So the other way we could have corrected it, if it's a reversal, is to do a double transaction. So we would have debited the sales ledger control account with 320, credited sales with 320, credit sales 320. If you were to look at this T account now, You've got 160 on the debit side, 320 on the credit side. So this overall has got 160 on the credit side. This one has got 320 on the debit side, 160 on the credit side. So overall has got 160 on the debit side. So no matter which way you'd used, you've ended up with the same effect.